The shared service in, uh, benefits, I would say, comes from the fact that you have a standardization of your processes. This standardization is really brought about that you now have a concentration of all your administrative accounting and finance process in one area and you have a concentration of skills, concentration of lots of talented people and they come up with one solution which is very cost effective and very efficient. Technology plays a big role in Bayer overall. Where the technology is used in our screening of molecules for a new pharmaceutical compound or for a new crop science compound or whether we use technology in our administrative processes. We believe that the technology is that that gives us the uh, competitive edge and the competitive advantage. We're always on the lookout for uh, the best technology. Of course, the business case must always be there. We use RPA and artificial intelligence quite extensively. The main reason why we do that, we believe that gives you a competitive edge. We believe that contributes to the efficiencies that we are searching for. We use uh, extensively our business partners. In, in discussions with them, we see what's the best in the market, what's the newest in the market, and we apply that. Uh, for us, importantly, that we also do our own development. We do not just rely on the external uh, partners. What's challenging about uh, artificial intelligence, what we see so far, is that the business cases are not always there. The technology is still relatively expensive, in some areas at least, that's our experience. And then, of course, we also see that the technology is, is still sometimes in development. So you still play a bit of the role of a guinea pig and uh, it's not always the final product that's, that's sold to you. Talent management is a very important part of our organization. You know, being a research-based company, whether we search for talents in the administration teams or in the scientists where we need to find new compounds, we always need to take good care of our uh, talents. Therefore, Bayer has through the years developed a very formal, rigid program that we search for talents and we also look after our talents. This program requires us really to monitor, after we've identified our talents, we monitor their progress in the organization, we follow up to see what happens with them, and in some stages we make sure we've got a very, I wouldn't say a predefined career plan, but definitely a very formal approach to their career and their development and tapping their talent. The BPO industry does not yet play a very big part in Bayer Shared Services organization or shared services strategy. We do have some uh, instances where we outsource payroll, for example, or we outsource our IT help desks. Whether that will be the case forever, we have to see. Yeah, of course, it's for us a very important factor. You know, when you set up uh, these SSOs and you go into this direction, and this is your strategy, an important part is to see how we compare relative to the market. We actually arrive at this situation by comparing ourselves in the market. So afterwards we want to still see how we are doing. So yeah, we do benchmarks from also these recognized rating, uh, these recognized consultancy agencies. We have a look at how we compare. Uh, of course, it's not a complete one-to-one -one comparison, what we make sure we are there or there about. And also we've got the sets of KPIs, and these sets of KPIs develops over time. And we continue to monitor these KPIs and also the development in the KPIs. To, uh, yeah, to make sure that we achieve our goals and our strategy is uh, fulfilled. The Philippines itself, we believe, is a very competitive market and we still see new entrants. We recently did a survey just in the PESA environment to see how many new entrants there are, how many new uh, projects are approved or expanded, and it was quite uh, surprising to see the number of uh, new projects coming into the market. We also experienced that through our employee movement. We see uh, employees move away from us and then we learn that way also of new entrants into the market. So the market is still very hot in the Philippines. Uh, in the region, uh, we do not have that much experience going into the region. We have not yet considered very strongly moving away from the Philippines into any other uh, countries in the region. Uh, so I'm not fully able to comment on that one.